Okay, thank you very much, dear, dear scholars, dear entrepreneurship people, dear you know, young scientists. Now, uh, we could show you, uh, Your Royal Highness, that uh, the ratio between Russian students uh, who visited Norway, of course, is uh, larger than the uh, number of Norwegian students coming to St. Petersburg. But we are open, and we hope in future we will have more and more students. We are always, uh, we always welcome them to our university. And uh, as, as Jonas said, of course, only through working together, working under research, under you know, joint programs, uh, we can learn about each other, we can help each other, and uh, we learn how to live together, to live through difficulties and on and on. And uh, so if you want to comment upon you know, the presentations, or maybe we will give the time for the uh, students to ask some questions because I know they probably they are boiling. I think. <laughs> uh, okay. So the question time, students. Okay, please. Uh -huh. Yes, but you first, please uh, uh, say your name. Your Royal Highness, uh, my name is Katrina. Uh, according to the topic of education uh, abroad, uh, you mentioned in your speech that uh, the main experience for you was sharing ideas between cultures, right? When you were studying abroad. Uh, so maybe there are some more benefits uh, benefits from your point of view that you can share with us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> First of all, thank you very much for your comments uh, from uh, the people that had interventions. Um, I uh, always find it interesting to hear different perspectives on, on how we can cooperate. Um, well, yes, I mean, I did learn a thing or two about um, political science as well, as I was studying. Uh, but definitely the cultural component of meeting other people and, and um, uh, hearing their views uh, on and seeing a difference of angles on... on uh, uh, world on the world uh, and and um, uh, you know different topics was definitely something um, that I thought was very interesting. Um, one of the, of, uh, the things that uh, I thought was interesting while I was um, studying in the United States was that the, I don't know if you've heard of this uh, thing where uh, the United States is a melting pot. Now there was what well, this is a while ago, but while I was studying there um, in the end of the 90s, um, there was sort of a change in that rhetoric a little bit, where it's not about us becoming the same, it's about us um, continuing to being different, uh, but learning to live together with mutual respect uh, and in peaceful coexistence. Uh, and I think that way of seeing each other's cultures and seeing each other as individuals and people uh, was important. Uh, another aspect could be um, identity. Uh, we have a tendency as people to group each other in different identities, like you're one thing. Uh, while um, uh, quite a few thinkers, uh, such as uh, Marcus Sen and Apaya and others, philosophers, uh, Apaya is a philosopher, uh, Marcus Sen is an economist, um, they uh, have put forward this idea uh, that uh, everyone are, have, have multiple identities uh, and uh, uh, we all are very many different things uh, and you can be Russian and Norwegian at the same time and the same week you can become more Russian and more Norwegian and that's a good thing. So these different identities are not necessarily a zero-sum game. You can actually strengthen different identities at the same time. And obviously it's not only which nation you're part of um, or which state, but it's also, you know, uh, like me, uh, I'm, um, uh, I'm a male, I'm a father, um, I like uh, surfing uh, and uh, hip-hop. Uh, and, you know, this. Uh, all of you have thousands of identities, and all of these work together um, and, and sort of uh, in the same time. So 
uh, we gotta navigate um, these uh, our our society, um, both sort of our, our nation state society, but also the world society, knowing that everyone's different, but we can find ways of working together, and we have much more in common than what separates us.